Hey guys, Matt here. Today we're going to try and get my buggy up to 100 k's an hour. So I've done a video on this before. So this is my $150 buggy, which I got off eBay, and I upgraded it to a 3S LiPo and brushless motor. And uh, I'll put the video link up there. And yeah, we'll just try and get to the highest speed possible. So here's the car. It's ready to run. So let's check the speed. So we've just had our first test run and let's see what speeds we got. We seem to have only got 40 k's an hour, which is a bit strange. Not sure why that is. So we'll give it a few more goes. That was definitely not 40 k's an hour. So we're gonna have a look again. It could be possibly because the phone doesn't have enough reception. So it's gone up to 62.7. So we have a new pinion gear here. This one has more teeth than the other one. The other one has 17 teeth. This one has, I think 26, 26 teeth. So we're gonna test out and see if it gets to a higher speed. So unfortunately I left the tool to upgrade the pinion gear at home. So that's a bit of a shame. So we'll just give it a bit more of a run here and then back home I'll upgrade it again and we'll do some more test runs then. Okay, so I'm back after a few weeks now. I've ordered a new battery and I've replaced the ESC after they both overheated last time I was here. So today we're going to test and see if we can get up to, I don't know, really fast speed. Should be, I don't know, maybe 100 k's an hour if we can. I've also changed the gear ratio to more teeth on the pinion gear, which should make a faster speed. That is very <laughs> fast. <laughs> oh. Oop. I've flashed into the curb many times now. We've got scrapes all over the left front wheel and the back wheel. So I'll probably eventually need to replace those. I got a chip in this one. Yeah, it's just been bashed around quite a bit, but we've got the speed. So when I get back home, I'm gonna measure the speed with the phone and we'll see if we hit the 100 k's an hour. Broke a drive shaft in the process. Totally worth it though. Okay, so I'm back now. I've got the batteries charged up, drive shaft replaced and got the phone ready, so. We're going to test out and see if we can reach 100 k's an hour. I'm trying to get up to 100. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah. Okay, so we're still at 87 k's an hour. It keeps slowing down uh, when I get to the full throttle. So it could be overheating or something could be going wrong with the electronics. So I need to work out what's going on there. But at the moment we have 87 k's an hour, which is pretty good. Okay, so we only got one more k an hour faster. 88 k's an hour. This could also be due to the extra weight from the phone, and the battery is pretty heavy. So we don't seem to be getting any more than 88 at the moment, because it keeps shorting out or something's going wrong. Um, keeps losing power. So I need to get that issue worked out.
it's hard to see, but it's still 88, unfortunately. So I might need to charge this back up because it's losing power. And then I'll give it one more go. And then that'll be the final speed. So the car's all charged up and we're gonna give it its last speed run of the day. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, we're trying it again. If you guys have any idea what's wrong with it, uh, could you please tell me in the comments? Because, yeah, I kind of want to get this fixed. Here it is, 88 k's an hour. The motor's smelling quite a bit right now, and it is extremely hot. So thanks guys for watching. Even though we only got up to like 88 k's an hour, not 100, it was still a, still a good video. Um, I'll get you guys to comment what I should do to the car to get up to 100 k's an hour, and then we'll do another video um, doing the 100 k's an hour, and it should be good. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.